Hey guys, so later this year we're going to see the release of the next generation of consoles. We're going to see the release of the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. And one of the things that many people are curious about, including myself, is backwards compatibility. Now backwards compatibility is something that we always want with every console, but they never seem to get it 100% right. But it is looking like they're making more of an effort this time, which to me is a good thing. My Nintendo Wii U can play Wii games, but you had to go into the Wii menu. It was always a pain. And the PlayStation 3, for example, it could play PlayStation 2 games initially, and then they stopped that with future versions of the console. And with PlayStation 4, you had to emulate the games. You had to you know, go into the PlayStation Now service, etc. So that wasn't good. But it does look like both Sony and Microsoft are making more of an effort. So I'd like to talk about that in this video. So right off the bat, Sony are saying that they're trying to make most of the, the top games, the popular games, compatible with the PlayStation 5. In that, you just put in your disc and it will play. It will play the game. So that's good. It's good news. Uh, it says that they've got a look at 100 of the PlayStation 4 titles that will be ranked by playtime and we're expecting more of them. So it looks like they're going through every game and they're going to validate each game to make sure that it works with the PlayStation 5. Now, they really haven't expanded on this as yet. My guess is that discs will work and I'm hoping that if you have bought these games in digital form, you can simply download them. That's what I'm hoping for. And these games should be loading much more quickly because you're using an NVMe SSD drive, a fast solid state drive instead of a mechanical drive, etc. Now, as far as accessories go, it's a little bit of a different story, but it is pretty good actually, I would say. So PlayStation appeared to be supporting most of the PlayStation 4 accessories and peripherals with the PlayStation 5. And this page details this, the platinum and gold wireless headsets will work, uh, officially licensed racing wheels will work, and that's something that I like because I do have the play seat and a Logitech steering wheel. So I'm really good to see, I'm really happy to see that. Um, other things here, we've got the DualShock 4 wireless controller will work with supported PS4 games and third party controllers as well. And the PS Move motion controllers, which I've actually got from the PlayStation 3, those will work. The PlayStation VR aim controller will work and supported PS virtual reality games on PlayStation 5 as well. So that's all good, but um, the camera works there as well. But the DualShock 4 controller is not going to work with PlayStation 5 games. So looking at that page, it looks like most of the accessories are going to work. So if you've got uh, a headset that you've been using with your, your PlayStation 4, it should work with the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation camera will work. All the PlayStation VR controllers and, and accessories will work and steering wheels and different things like that will work. Now the PlayStation 4 controller will work with your PlayStation 4 games and the PlayStation 5, but the PlayStation 4 controller will not work with, with PlayStation 5 games. So I've kind of got mixed feelings about that. Uh, the reason being, if you look at PlayStation controllers over the years, they've effectively not changed. I mean, you've got the D-pad, you've got the four buttons at the right hand side, and then you've got four buttons on top. And You've got the two thumbsticks there. They've not really changed this design for years. I mean, even just looking at the PlayStation 3 controller here to the PlayStation 4, they introduced a touchpad, which I, I never used. They've got the PlayStation button as usual, and they've got the headphone jack. That's all good. But what I would like to see is some sort of disclaimer that you can use it, but just explain that you, you know, you're not going to get the full experience. Because for me, I would like to be able to play with the PlayStation 4 controller on the PlayStation 5, even if it's just, you know, when friends are around and we've got a third or a fourth player, I think that would be good. Now, I do support the development of controllers. I do think that companies should try and improve the controller experience over the years. And with every generation, they should try and improve the controller, whether it be sensitivity or, for example, in the PlayStation, they've got the share button and things like that. I think that's all good. But personally, I'd like them to say, Yes, you can use this with the PlayStation 4 games and you get the full experience, but you can also use it with PlayStation 5, but you will not get the full experience. You will not get, you know, as good controls, etc. I don't know, but I just think it would be good to be able to use the PlayStation 4 controller with PlayStation 5 games because you've got the same buttons. But it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. It looks like you're going to have to buy some PlayStation 5 controllers if you want to play PlayStation 5 games. That just seems to be... The way it is. Now, onto the Xbox Series X. I think Microsoft are, are handling this a little bit better. I think Sony's doing a good job here, certainly compared to what they've done in the past. But 
Uh, the Xbox Series X, they are looking to have thousands of games uh, at launch. And what they've been doing is going through a lot of these older games, Xbox One games, and they're trying to make it compatible with the Xbox Series X. So that's good. And you can see here about the Xbox uh, games playing better on Xbox Series X because of the custom NVMe, non-volatile memory, solid state drive. Um, so that's good. I, I, liked, uh, I like that. I like that they're trying to do that. But I, I was reading about the Xbox Series X as well. And if I search for, I think the word existing will, probably, uh, will bring this up. Um, yes, so here it says that the controller uses the same wireless protocol introduced by the Xbox One and is backwards compatible. Existing Xbox One controllers will be also be compatible with the Xbox Series X. So that's good. Now, I've read a few other articles about it, but it looks like Microsoft are, so far, they've got more games that are going to be backwards compatible. And it looks like all accessories are going to be backwards and future forward compatible. And um, so you can use your Xbox One Series X controllers with the Xbox One. I think that's good as well. But you can also use your Xbox One controller with the Xbox Series X controllers. They've went a, one step further than Sony in that regard. The thing is, I don't see any any like hardware reason why Sony can't change this policy before launch or even after launch where they say, okay, well, we've added an update where you can now use your PlayStation 4, your DualShock 4 controllers with PlayStation 5 games. I hope that's what they're going to do. Certainly, that's what Xbox have done right away. That's what Microsoft have done, and I think they've made the right decision there. It should give people the opportunity to buy the new controller, but they should also let them use their older controllers as well. It just makes sense, and it's, you know, it saves a lot of hassle. You've got these, you've got these controllers anyway, but um, we'll see what happens. But as far as backwards compa uh, compatibility goes, it looks like they're trying to convert most of the games and, and add support for them, so you might have to download some updates so that they are compatible with the next generation. They might not support all games, so your whole catalogue might not be able to be played on the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X, your, your older catalogue, but it does look like they're making more of an effort this year uh, to kind of transition the older games and the older accessories from the previous generation to this generation. So I'll leave a link to these pages so you can check them out for yourself, guys, but I think across the board, they're making more of an effort to be backwards compatible with this generation than we have seen in previous generations as far as controllers and accessories and the games themselves. But thanks for watching, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. So please do leave a comment below, and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.